Hello there guys, Matt the Hatch here and today we are doing another quality review of a Halo Infinite figure. I got basically the entire line from Smith's today. Today is when I'm recording this video. I'll probably be extremely lazy and might even not ever release these videos. Despite the fact that they might actually be the highest quality videos on this channel. Which really doesn't say much at all. Anyway, so. Moving on. For a uh, showcase of the box, you have. Halo on the top, Master Chief on the bottom. You have Mass. You have UNSC on the side. You have Halo on the other side. UNSC on the side. UNSC on the side. Halo on the bottom. And Halo and Master Chief on the back. Now, now I can. Now that I have expanded my knowledge on how to open these boxes, you actually have two solid tape pieces here and here. So I'll take piece here and on the other side. So let's see if I can do this like a proper pro. And there's no one there's none on the box. Bottom I mean. Oh, yes, there is some on the bottom. So there's also some on the bottom. So hopefully now I can open this like a actual toy reviewer instead of some guy who makes half decent, possibly memeable videos. Once a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just gotta do the big like so. Just gotta move that up. Okay, now they should all just fall apart. Except for the fact that there's more salad tape. Jeez. Now I gotta cut everything apart. God. It'd be nice if. Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna open this up. Okay, we're done. Phew. It took me long enough. I just realised whilst, whilst I was doing that, probably half the people watching this video just got bored and left. So, that's always good to know. Okay, we have a different stand and a different figure. I also forgot to mention the name of the figure because I can't make a video of nothing going wrong. This is the Spartan Mark. Seven with pulse carbine. Despite the fact that it. Oh, wait, no, no, it actually does look different to the one on the Sniper Jackal over there from my previous review. You got another one of the game add ons, which I shall add to my pile over there. And let me just get him in the pose. So, it is raining in England, never mind, it has stopped raining, it was raining when I started recording this video. This, we had snow a while ago, which is surprising, considering everything, you know, 
global warming and everything. So we haven't had snow here in four years, I think, was the last time I went sledging. Which was about the last time that we had snow. Or proper snow that you can actually make snowballs out of. So that was cool. So yeah, like I said in a previous video, I nearly got the entire wave, and all that I'm missing is like two figures, which is the pilot and banished proof, since Smiths didn't have them. So here is the figure all posed up. Hell Opener is taking some inspiration from Reach with this figure because it looks very, yeah, similar to the base armor from Hell of Reach because I've forgotten what the name of that is. Paint applications are pretty good, pretty hard to screw up if I'm going to be honest though because it's just less and black, not too complex, but I like it. Uh, I actually want to bring this back quite a bit so that you guys can actually see. Instead of being like, it's night. But that's just England. You can never rely on it being sunny for more than five seconds before a rain cloud comes over and screws up everything. So, in terms of articulation, oh, actually, that was easier than expected. It has a articulation. It's for it. You can move the foot up and down, or down and up. You can. It's on a swivel joint. It has double jointed knees. It has a swivel here. And the rest of the leg is on the ball joints. Same with the other leg, because it's another leg. You can it the ball is on a socket joint, I think it's called. Head is on the ball joint. Arms you can move them up, up and down like that. They're on the swivel and crunch joint, I think it's called. Same with the elbow. T posing. The, this arm can do this. It can also swivel. Oh, it can also swivel around. Same with this hand. Same with the arm. And that is it for articulation for the stand. It once again comes with a different stand. And paint. Oh yeah, it also has gold visor. You know, in case you couldn't tell, because, you know, it is actually quite hard to see. Just, just like this giant blob in the background. It's just like the white. Anyways. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But I don't know what. So anyways, I will probably remember what I've forgotten after this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye